Hello, and thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. My name is Jill, and I read tarot cards intuitively. I'm going to be doing the Capricorn daily energy reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. If it does not resonate for you, it may mean that it is meant for someone else. All right, so I'm using my, my Vice Versa Tarot, so we have images on both sides of the cards. So we have the current situation. We have the Eight of Pentacles, and that is being crossed by the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. What does Capricorn need to focus on? We have the Seven of Cups. What is Capricorn leaving behind? We have the Five of Swords. What are Capricorn's strengths? The Hangman, being able to see things from a different perspective, which for me, the Hangman is my favorite card in the deck. What is coming in the near future? All right. I feel like you're gonna meet someone in the near future with that Six of Cups. What is the advice for Capricorn for this reading? We have the Three of Wands. Um, I feel like it's empowering yourself. And we have the yin and yang there and feeling balanced. All right, what is the environment going on for Capricorn in this reading? We have the Hermit. What is the hopes and fears for Capricorn? We have the Four of Cups. And what is the potential outcome here for Capricorn with this reading. We have the Ace of Swords. All right. What is the overall energy for Capricorn in this reading? All right. We have Temperance. Patience. 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 Patience and balance. All right, let's see. I can't, you can kind of see. <laughs> Still trying to figure out my camera angles. Um, so we have the current situation, which is the eight of pentacles being crossed by the nine of pentacles. And I feel like you're trying I kind of feel like you're trying something new and you're kind of going, I, I feel like you want to branch out on your own or you're trying something new, but I feel like you're not, I almost, I feel like you're, it's not as, I feel like you're not as putting as much effort into something as you had. I feel like you have this plan that you are going to start something or you are going to do something and I feel like you're not putting as much effort into it as you had kind of dedicated yourself to do because I feel like you're not getting the results as quickly as you want to get them. And I kind of feel like you're, I feel like, like what you need to focus on is the seven of cups and I feel like there's, I feel like there's more that you need to put into this situation. And I feel like you're expecting too much too soon. And I feel like with this day and age is that we see people that are so successful and we think that we're gonna have that right away, but we don't see all of the years and all of the struggles that people have gotten through. And I admit I'm the same way. Like I admit that, yeah, like you see someone and they post a video and they're like, oh, all you have to do is this and that and then you know, this is what's going to happen or you think that things are going to happen and it's just like you're not seeing all of the years of hard work. And I feel like you're trying something but you're not giving it enough effort. And I feel like 
you have to you have to give yourself more of a chance and I feel like you have to work more at this. Um, maybe if one opportunity doesn't work, I feel like it's, I don't know. It's, it's like, I like to go with the feelings that I feel. I feel confusion. I feel like you're confused about what it is that you need to focus on. And I feel like you're kind of all over the place. And I like to go with my feelings when I'm reading a, a, a tarot, when I'm reading doing a reading I like to go with the energy that I'm feeling within myself and I feel confusion and I feel stuck and I feel I'm kind of all over the place with this reading I feel like progress because we have the eight of Pentacles and the nine of Pe Pentacles and I feel like there's forward movement but I also feel like it's kind of confusion and not really sure what to do I feel that I feel like with what you're leaving behind this is five of swords and I feel like it's going in a new direction, right? Leaving this behind, whatever this may represent here for you. Um, for some reason, I feel like it's leaving an old relationship behind or old ways behind. And I feel like you haven't given something enough of a chance and you haven't given it enough of a focus. Um, it could be a relationship that you're in that maybe you're kind of feeling wishy-washy about it. It could be a career. It could be business. It could be a whatever that may be as I feel like you have this idea and you're thinking of these like it's going to bring you a lot of great rewards right a strong relationship or successful business or a su successful job and I feel like you have this ideas but I feel like you're giving up on it too soon and I feel like you're kind of all over the place and I feel like you're not focusing enough on it Sometimes when we have too many things on our plate and we have too many directions that we feel we're being pulled into, that we're not able to put enough time and focus on one thing. And I, I kind of feel like maybe that's what this is, is what, what you need to focus on, is focus on the one thing that's going to bring you the most um, rewards or that you feel that it is something that you can follow through with the most. Like for me, like I was doing, I was doing t-shirts, I was doing, I was creating mugs, I was having my YouTube channels and I had a, lots of different, I had a fish YouTube channel, I had the Daryl YouTube channel. I was spreading myself too thin. And what I needed to focus on was to pick one thing and to put all of my energy and effort into that because you can do one thing really well or you can kind of do a lot of things mediocre. And I feel like that's what I needed to focus on. And I feel like that's what's going on here. And there may be, it could be relationships that you're trying to build a strong relationship with someone, but maybe you're being distracted by other people. It could be a career, job, whatever that may be. And I feel like you're kind of being pulled all over the place. And I kind of feel like it's kind of leaving all of the other ones behind and picking the one that you feel is the most, that drives you the most. With this overall energy with temperance is I feel like you have to be patient and you have to give it time and you have to give it time to grow. It's like planting a seed, right? If you're starting a business or you're starting a relationship, you've planted that seed and you have to give that seed time to grow, whether it's the relationship or the business or, you know, whatever that goal is that you have, is that you have to give it time to grow. And I feel like you're not wanting to give it time to grow. That's what I've said before is like, is it the crock pot or is it the microwave, right? You can get those quick results with the microwave, but the crock pot really brings better results. And I feel like that's kind of how you have to see things. Sometimes we just have to figure out, see things from a different perspective and say, okay, yeah, like I know that this is something that's going to have to take me time and that I can't really rush it. Your strengths are the um, hangman, so the hangman is about seeing things from a different perspective, and I feel like once something makes sense to you, you're able to take a step back and you're able to say, you know what, I really think that I need to just fo put, I need to focus on one thing. Um, I need to really, and once you have that under control, then you can branch out and maybe, excuse me, add some more things into it, right? Or maybe you can expand on that one thing. Um, and I feel that it's kind of putting, figuring out what it is that you want to do first before you start branching out and making sure that if you start to branch out with something, like say you, 
so say you wanted to start a business and then you have all these other business ideas and so you're like okay I'm just going to focus on this one thing and then it's like okay I feel like this is going really good so let me try this but I feel like it's it's if you try something else and you see that that's not working don't give up on what it is that you're doing right if you're finding that it's taking away or unless you can have a manager or something that can take care of the first thing so I just feel like it's it's kind of taking that time to make sure that you you know you don't fall into that trap again of spreading yourself too thin i feel like you just need to focus on one thing and be patient and let that grow right um in the near future we have this six of cups and for some reason i was feeling like there may be some of you that are, are maybe reacquainting yourself with someone or something from the past because the six of cups is is something from the past and it could be that you're getting back to something that you love, getting back to something that you enjoy. It could be, you know, my first thought was that maybe some of you may be meeting someone. It could be a reconciliation with someone or someone that a friend that you knew from the past, a relationship. I'm not really sure since this is a general reading. Um, but I also feel like it may be getting back to your roots of something that you've been wanting to do for a while, but you just haven't. It could also be a feeling that you have, like that feeling of accomplishment, right? Because we have these cups have all these flowers in here. And I feel like it could be that it's something that's very rewarding to yourself and kind of focusing on something that brings you happiness and joy. And I feel that it's, you know, maybe that's what you need to do is to kind of get back to your roots and say, okay, what is it that I really enjoy? What is it that I really like to do? What is it that I really want to focus on? And same with me, like when I was trying all different things and trying different YouTube channels and all that, and it's like I kept going back to tarot. And I'm like, that's what it is that I enjoy and that's where I have to focus my effort and that's what I need to do. And it's just like, you know, why work against it? And if that's what you enjoy doing, then that's what you need to focus on. And again, with the advice is, is this three of wands and I feel like it's, they have the yin and the yang there and it's that balance and it's like, I just feel like you see clearly now, like you see, see clear and the, the advice is like, where do you go from here and moving forward in that direction. And when you, when you're not spreading yourself too thin and you know what it is that you want to do, then you feel more driven towards what it is that you want to do and you're able to put more energy and you feel this sense of calmness within yourself. And the over, the environment is the hermit and it's looking within and finding what truly makes you happy, what truly makes you motivated, what truly, like looking within and, and really asking yourself those questions. And we have the egg here and I feel like it's the beginning of that. I feel you've been too distracted with other things. I feel like you've been almost avoiding what it is that you would really like to be doing or the type of relationship that you would really like. And I feel like it's, the environment is really looking within and saying, what is it that I really want to do? What is it that I really want to focus on? What is it that I want to put my energy towards? And to not deny yourself that. Um, and to focus on that because that's, that's what I feel makes life more fulfilling is that when we're able to focus on the things that bring us that enjoyment within ourselves is life becomes more richer and life becomes more fuller. Um, the hopes and fears, we have the Four of Cups, and I feel like let go what does, of what does not serve you. Let go of that self-doubt. Let, let go of those those questions and those that denial within yourself and the old ways of doing things. And then the potential outcome is we have the Ace of Swords and we have that crown there, and I feel like it's putting that crown on and feeling like you're in control. And Aces are new beginnings and new starts, and I feel like it's that new way of thinking and I feel that it's, you know, focusing on what's important to you, but also realizing, hey, I have to give it time to happen, that it's not gonna happen overnight. And that I have to, again, letting go of what does not serve you. Um, I feel like you wanna make things happen, but I feel like you're kind of stuck in old ways. And I feel like it's, it's giving yourself that opportunity to let this Nine of Pentacles come in and embracing the way that your strength of it is being able to step back and see things from a different perspective. 
and see, okay, that if it's not working this way, then, then how else can I, you know, how can I make this work? Let's grab a um, animal oracle card here. Getting back to what you love doing with this, this card, the Six of Cups is really standing out here for me. And I feel like it's getting back to what you really enjoy doing. All right, so what do we have here for Capricorn? We have Koi Fish. And we have There's Always Enough. All right, so at Koi Fish, and I would feel like it was going back to this because I was thinking of the water here and like the Koi Fish um, swimming in there. And that to not, that, that there's always enough, that there's always, sometimes we think, oh, well, that's not going to happen for me, or that's not going to, you know, and it's that mindset of, yes, there is enough for you. There is enough, you know, opportunities. There is enough chances for you because it's all about your mindset and saying, yeah, there's enough out for, there for me in the universe. You know, there's enough relationships. There's enough love. There's enough money. There's enough opportunities right for for me and and to tell yourself that that yeah it's out there i just have to grab it i just have to be in that mindset that it's out there and i have to grab it and i have to make it happen and believing in yourself and and not you know like setting yourself up for success and not setting yourself up for failure um let's grab a star dragons here for capricorn we have rebirth, giving yourself a second chance. Give yourself that second chance or that third chance or that fourth chance. Sometimes we have to give ourselves many chances to realize that, you know, to not give up on ourselves and not to give up on our dreams and not give up on our goals. And a rebirth, and again, I feel like with that hangman energy, it's again that rebirth and it's saying, okay, how can I, give myself a new opportunity to make this happen. Let's grab a Whispers of Healing. For Capricorn, we have Forward Movement. So I like that one, Forward Movement. How, how do you move, if you feel that you're stuck, how can you move yourself forward? How can you move this situation forward. How can you get yourself unstuck, right? And I feel like that is something that is up to you for you to make that happen and not leaving that up to someone else. Sometimes we like to put that off on someone else, but it's like, how can I make that forward movement within myself? Let's grab you an empowering question. We have, how would I want to be encouraged right now? What would I want to hear? That's pretty interesting. I don't think I've heard that one. What would help to encourage you in this moment right now? What would you like to hear from yourself or possibly another person? But I feel like it's more within yourself. What would you like to hear from yourself that will encourage you to help you through this situation? That I feel that if you're, sh you're struggling with this right now, and what would you like to hear? Like, what is it that you need to hear from yourself um, that would help to motivate you to get yourself back on track and to get yourself focused? Um, looking within, and you know, sometimes it's just as simple as everything's gonna be okay and it's gonna work out and to not worry about it. Yes, that's easier said than done. But sometimes if we hear that from someone else or we hear that from ourselves and we, we really believe that within ourselves and we say, you know what, it's gonna be okay. I, I'm gonna get through this. I've been through other things. I've been through harder things and I've always pushed through and I'm going to continue to push through that I may just be in a struggle bubble right now. And so what is it that I need to do to help myself through this to get to the other side? Um, let's grab a angel answers. I feel like it's also about listening to yourself and listening to your body and listening to what it is that you need. I feel like with that card there, like, um, like yesterday I had come home, I had some errands and I had went to the barn and I came home and I, and I took a shower and then I was just like, I just wanted to lay down in bed for a minute, which is not like me cause like I'm always like moving. And I was just kind of laying there and I was just like, oh, I just felt so tired. 
and then I tried to get up after like an hour um, and then I tried to turn on my computer I was like you know what I'm just gonna listen to myself today and I feel like this is one of those days where I just need to lay down in bed and I just need to relax and I just need to rest and part of me felt a little guilty about that but then part of me was like this is what my body needs right now and this is what I need to do right now for myself and so that's what I did and I woke up this morning and I was feeling much better I was feeling motivated I was feeling ready to go because I know that if I try if I'm tired and I need to rest and I'm trying to push through there are times when I can push through and I can have positive results, but there's times when I know that it just makes it harder for me because then I start making mistakes and I and things don't come out right and it becomes more frustrating. And I knew that yesterday was one of those days and I was like, it's okay. Like, like it's okay. Like, this is what I need right now and that's what I did. And I, and I said to myself, I know that tomorrow I'm gonna feel much better and I'm gonna be able to power through this. And that's exactly what happened. And I feel like with this hermit card here, it's looking within and saying, what is it that you need right now? What is it that you need to do for yourself right now to help you through this? We have in the near future, in the near future. So in the near future, that could mean a, mean a lot of things. It could be this rebirth. It could be feeling more motivated, just like me yesterday, I was like, you know, so that could have represented that in the near future, you're gonna feel so much better. So the next day I felt so much better. So in the near future, and it's like making those changes now so that in that near future that you feel learning about yourself too, right? Learning about yourself, listening to yourself and saying, what do I need right now? And yesterday when I was driving around, I was actually, I put on, um, in my car, I put on um, Gem Goddess. And I love her motivational videos and about saying how you can manifest and how you can bring things in. And she was also talking about, I think it was like um, your identity and like, um, like uh, I hate when I can't remember things, but it was one that was really good in it, and it was about how you're seeing yourself. And it, it was just so good and I listened to it a couple times in the car and I thought instead of listening to music in the car, let me listen to a motivational video. So I put a couple of her videos on and I listened while I was driving in the car and it really helped me. And it really made me, gave me a sense of calmness. And again, that's kind of going back. How would I want to be encouraged right now? What would I want to hear? And for me yesterday, I needed to hear that gem goddess because she had those great videos and those great messages that came through that I needed to hear yesterday and that really helped to motivate me. And again, like I've said many times before, what are those tools that you have that can help you when you're struggling, right? And is it, you know, getting that journal out and writing things down or is it listening to motivational videos or is it reading motivational words or you know what are those things that you need again with this hermit overlooking this reading and saying what is it that you need to do to help yourself right now not leaving that up to somebody else but relying on yourself enough to say okay I'm, I'm kind of in a struggle bubble what do I need to do here to get through this let's grab a wisdom of the oracle here for Capricorn we have new life all right so I kind of feel like that's a because we have um, with the star dragons, we have rebirth, giving yourself a, a second chance, and then we have new life. And that doesn't mean that you totally get rid of your old life. It just means moving forward, what is this new direction that you want to go in? What is this new focus? And again, learning more about yourself that when you're struggling or when you're having this challenge or when you feel like you want to give up, how is it that you need to look at things and how is it that you need to perceive things in order to help you through this situation? Let's grab a um, psychic tarot card here for Capricorn. We have awareness. I love it. And this is my second favorite card and this is the magician. And it's realizing how powerful that you are, right? It's kind of like that, that, that third, um, that third eye kind of, or it's kind of like that crown chakra. That's what I was thinking. Third eye is on your forehead. The crown chakra is up there. And I feel like it's that inner knowing and that, that power that you have within yourself. The magician is about you are, you are powerful and you control what it is that you focus on. You're controlling 
you control everything that you have going on around you and that you are powerful and that you can make things happen if you want to make things happen and I just feel like it's embracing your power and it's it's filling the soul and it's f filling that inner that inner energy that you have um so it's like seeing that if you're struggling what can you do to help yourself in this moment let's grab a fortune reading card we have patience <laughs> yeah that was with the sagittarius um the temperance card uh, sorry that's the sagittarius um, the temperance card is, is patience. And then we have patience, slow down, change your attitude and clear your mind. And I feel like that goes again here with, with awareness, like clearing your mind, clearing your mind and getting rid of the negativity and the self doubt and, um, that insecurities. Yes, it's easier said than done, but if we recognize that we're in that energy and we say, okay, I realize that I'm doing this. I need to stop this. And how can I move on from this? And that is a self that I feel that is self empowerment and saying, okay, I'm going to the negative. I'm having a hard day. I'm, I'm struggling. I want to give up on something that's really important to me. And I just have to let that go. And I need to embrace my strength, which is the, you know, seeing things from a different perspective. And it's about feeling powerful within yourself giving yourself that chance don't give up on yourself i know i gave up on myself many times and i'm not giving up on myself now and it feels so good and it feels different but it feels empowering all right thank you so much for watching um if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe it's greatly appreciated um thank you so much for hanging in there with me I hope this helped you. I hope that this made sense for you. The overall thing is to just be patient. Get yourself in that, that look within, see what makes you happy, see what makes you feel good, see what motivates you, focus on that and give it time to grow. And if you see that you're struggling with something, realize that you need to change that, that you need to not let that enter in and to follow old habits and old patterns and to embrace this new way of seeing things and doing things. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.